morning. Okay, it is Monday, um, June 17th. Why am I at school? Because my son is summer camp this whole week. So I'm gonna be popping in this week to work on things today on my agenda. I want to take down things I didn't use last year or things that I'm replacing. So, um, halfway through the year last year, I got a smart board that is on like wheels and stuff and has like a, I don't know if you can still see, there we go. Um, a smart board that's on like a stand. I can't think right now, but it covered up a bulletin board, um, that I used to use. And then I just had to figure out what to do without it last year. So I'm actually going to take that whole bulletin board down. Um, and then one, it'll free up some space because our rules are, um, nothing can be it's like the ceiling in 18, you have to have a clearance of 18 inches before you have anything. And then 50% of your walls should, um, only 50% of your walls can be covered. I have more than 50% of my walls, but I've gotten away with it. But this one bulletin board will give me some extra space that's clear of anything in my classroom. So I'm gonna take that down today. I am gonna replace up there the letter line. That was just like a cheap Dollar Tree letter line that I had in my classroom when we um, went away from our last curriculum and I took that down um, because our letter line before went along with our curriculum. We got rid of that curriculum, so I took that letter line down and just put up like a generic one that had cute colors. And actually I found it in my cabinet, my blue cabinet, um, where things get put to like die. Um, which I'll have to clean that out this, well, not have to, but that's on my list of things that I want to do this summer, um, is clean out the blue cabinet and organize more. But, so I'm taking that down and I'm replacing it with a schoolgirl style. Why am I replacing it? I don't like the J. Um, and then I'm used to having the vowels a different color and last year, and I never really noticed like the kiddos weren't getting vowels until last year. Um, and I have a feeling it's because they weren't different colors on there. And we have like a song and stuff for it. So it still wasn't like really resonating with them. Um, and I think it's because this one does not have the vowels in a different color. I don't like the J, it doesn't have the top hat, um, the vowels. And then I also like the bonus letters to have um, like our old one had like a little star. So I think I'm gonna put something um, so that has it also. Um, so this one has the correct J. It has, um, the vowels are in a different color. So that's what I'm going to put up. But I'm gonna take the old one down today, take that bulletin board down today. Um, and then I may take some more stuff down today, we'll see. But I just want to only have things on my walls that I, and I've done this over the years, and some I filmed and some I have it. But I've been trying to only have things on my wall that I'm going to use. And it is, I don't know, I just really want to, I just want my classroom to be functional, right? So it's kind of evolved over time. So my first year, I had a couple things on my walls that I needed, but then a lot of it was like cutesy, right? Um, but now I'm really reflecting on the things that I do use and um, putting it, or if I didn't use it, why didn't I use it? Is it because we didn't need it? Or is it because it wasn't in like an accessible area? Um, so that's kind of what I'm going through. And I, I'm gonna see if I can remove any more bulletin board things, but I think I'm done. But I'm just removing stuff today and that's what we're doing. And then I have to go get removed. Speaking of remove, I have to go get a bunch of stuff out of our old teacher's lounge um, because that is being turned into a classroom. I work at a small school and we have um, not a lot of space. And so last year, one of the grades had one less classroom. And so we used that as the teacher's lounge and I went in and I did all the bulletin boards and I did um, centerpieces for the tables and curtains for the windows and stuff um but this year we're not gonna be able to have it as a teacher's lounge which i totally understand but it is sucky um but i get it we need that as a classroom again and so um yeah so i need to go get all my stuff out of that room because the teacher moving into that room um was like oh cool <laughs> so 
not that me taking my stuff out is gonna like solve all the world's problems in there, but um, because there's still like a, a refrigerator, there's a vending machine, there's coffee machines, but I'm gonna go take all my stuff out. That way she doesn't have to move around my stuff. Also, hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm a first grade teacher here in Arizona and um, thank you for following along with me. Um, so yeah, thanks, welcome. So I just cleaned out all of my stuff that was left over from the teacher's lounge. I forgot I had a bunch of like bins in there and then totally forgot I had this. So I'm gonna put this maybe in our hallway and then maybe our grade level can use it for, we were talking about, I think, I don't think I have room for this in my classroom, but I was thinking of putting it in the hallway and then we can use it. We were talking about doing it like a competition of our words read. Um, and so maybe we can use this for that um, in our hallway. I just don't know how safe it's gonna be in the hallway. Lots of kids go down our hallway. And so, you know, whether they mean to or not, sometimes our things on the walls will come down just by bumping and all of that. So, I don't know, I may find a spot for it in here, um, but we'll see. For right now, I'm gonna find a place to put it. And then these were little centerpieces that my mom made for our teacher's lounge. Um, these are just like spaghetti cans, spaghetti sauce cans, and then pencils all around, and I tied a bow, and then with sunflowers. I, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I don't, I'm not really gonna use them in my classroom, um, but I think they're super cute, and I wish I had somewhere for them, because my mom worked really hard on these, um, and she was happy to help with the uh, teacher's lounge so I don't know maybe someone will want them or I will find a spot for them um and then I sew these curtains last year I made these curtains um but isn't this the cutest fabric I just got it from Joann's and it was like little balances in our teacher's lounge they are super cute maybe I'll replace my balances with them because mine I'm redoing my ones for over can you see them over there I usually have polka dot ones but I have polka dot ones here too so maybe I'll put them up there they don't exactly match you know what or maybe I go get more of this fabric because I am redoing those anyways Maybe I go get more of this fabric and do matching. But it has cute little sayings like do your thing, dream big, hi, hello, hey, speak up and be heard, you're the best. I don't know, I think that would be cute there. It doesn't really go with my theme, but we'll see. My theme is bright and we're in a school, so maybe, maybe those will work. Um, what else? A bunch of my borders that I used some more bins which I forgot I had um, I may use these ones in my classroom some of my borders are getting kind of beat up so we do we hang things like we do a gratitude challenge each year our assistant principal started it so we would hang cards with someone's name inside and then you write them a letter, like a note, a card, whatever. But these were really good magnets to have up there. And then they held all year. So I will find a need for those in my classroom about tis for sure. Um, what else? Oh, and then I have a, um, like a shout out wall in there for staff and I just got this on TPT but it comes with little tacos and it says like let's talk about our let's taco about our staff and then let me find one and then I had a little thing like this that was stapled next to the bulletin board that had empty notes pins and tape but 
you just write the person you're going to shout out and then what's great about them. So for example, um, she won't care if I share hers. So, um, this one was to Mrs. Hunt. Um, so it says opening her classroom to other teachers to observe her amazing strategies and management. So that was a shout out. Um, this one is for another, um, staff member, not a teacher, but she does so much here. So it says, um, she has so much, has her name. She does so much for our students, staff, and school that often goes under the radar. Thank you for everything you do. Um, this one, always to someone else, um, always willing to cover classes and help sub. She is a real team player. Um, oh, this one is to me. Um, Mrs. Loken, she is so inclusive with our exceptional students. She is fun, happy, and sweet. That was nice. Um, I bet she won't care if I share this. Mrs. Smith, she is so amazing at being what every kid needs, especially our exceptional students. So they're a bunch. And it's nice because these may be people that not everyone gets to see every day. Um, and so I am going to find a place for this bulletin board for next year because I think it's so nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and put all these little notes um, in their mailboxes. So they have them and they can read them. Um, but I'm going to keep all this bulletin board stuff together because I want to put them somewhere else. And if I had, like if I taught a higher grade, this would be a great thing to have in your classroom. Um, because I don't think, this particular one doesn't say let's talk about students, but you could make it like that. Let's talk about our class. And then you could have the notes next to it and allow kiddos to get up whenever, you know, whatever fits with your schedule but that would be a great one because it could be someone that finishes early or gets in class early or is a late leaver like whatever and then it makes the kids good feel good about themselves and would work for classroom culture um i did a family tree in there so some of that stuff is in here that was for the refrigerator with labels here's another taco and that comes with this one and that one. Oh, and then these were headers like our budget brief breakfast club we do where each grade teams up with like another grade or a section of the school to um, bring in breakfast snacks dessert whatever you want for the whole school they team up and everybody gets a month um, upcoming events was one and then for our coffee bar I just made signs so this one says we'd be muffin without you I just did these in like PowerPoint everyone is on a diet until donuts are involved I thought that was cute uh, first we drink the coffee then we do the things may your coffee be strong and your students be calm our staff is just the right blend. And then these I got from Schoolgirl Style, but I had them up there. laminated them and then I think that's it so now I need to find a space for all these because I can't just like leave them out because they're going to be moving all of our furniture out to wax the floors. So I will figure that out. <laughs> but okay, next item on the agenda. Um, at some point this week I have to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. I don't think I can leave it on my rolling cart. Um, but I love these. I feel like it fits with like my bright colors and stuff. And I do have a couple borders that are on their last leg. So we shall see. But I love these. I want to find a spot for these. Like maybe we give them, we have a few new teachers joining. 
Like maybe I give these to the new teachers, one each. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they would be cute for our like meet the teacher tables. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want them to go to waste, but they will not. I will find a new home for them. taken down everything I need to but here here's something so I have my hand signals but because of where my desk is sometimes you can't see them all so I was thinking of putting so let me show you this is where my mind starts going and then sometimes too much is too much but all right so there's my back I don't know if you can see it so the back of my wall had four I had um area for four bulletin boards and then I moved it last year and did three here is what I was thinking I was thinking of moving it back to four it just is the center divider that I have to move I don't have to do anything with like the paper or anything but what I was thinking is making it four again and doing one bulletin board our rules so I don't have to have it on my board on my uh, whiteboard and then our hand signals because that way it's not my board it's not being used up and then right here could be something else you know what I mean so I think that may be what we do I also next year want to try to get our no that would be good that's fine Yes. So I think I'm going to turn that into four bulletin boards instead of three and then have one like our rules and our hand signals. Or I have this area down here under my whiteboard that really, the only thing I ever have there is my toothless cactus so the kids can write their names.
my little guy is done with summer camp and so we are leaving and I will be back tomorrow and so we'll finish this um, tomorrow. Morning. Okay, so I'm back at school. Um, I dropped my little one off at summer camp. Made a couple of color copies that I forgot that we didn't make. You work crooked right now, but it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, let's see. I am still debating if I'm gonna take all that black stuff off of like half of my bulletin board down because I just, I kind of want less bulletin boards. Does that, is that weird? I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's what I'm gonna work on. back in my classroom I am going to work on um, just a couple things and then I'm gonna run to Target they're having a sale on like their school supplies and so um, I'm gonna run over there today my little one is at summer camp and so I'm gonna show you around my room and just kind of show you what I got done yesterday my battery kept getting it or my internal temp on my camera kept going up and so my camera kept shutting off so i have not looked at like the footage from yesterday so i do not know like here that angle is not working so like i don't know what was on there what wasn't so what i did basically was i moved around a couple things um i took away some of the bulletin 
board paper stuff and I made this bulletin board shorter. It used to go all the way down to the floor. The one over here that I'll show you did not go all the way down to the floor, almost to there. So I just finished it. Um, so that way now we have like more blue that shows. I love that color. I picked it for a reason. So that's what we're doing. I'm putting up my shapes and my colors today. And then I may go through my blue cabinet that I always say I'm gonna go through every summer and it just never happens, so we'll see. Tiffany fashion, um, I did not charge my batteries, so I did not really film a lot today but my battery is now charged so I'm gonna go through this one section of my white thing um, and take you guys along with it but let me show you what I've worked on it still may look like a mess to you but believe me it's better um, let me show you <clears throat> all right so I put my colors up there although now <laughs> I feel like I need stuff there but I'm not going to I did my banners fun story I was short one of these so I had to go make a copy of one and then I had to use our big laminator which takes like 15 minutes to warm up because I took my laminator home um, but it's done now social studies science SEL and then I did our shapes down here Um, what else did I do? I cleaned off this cart and then I worked on down here. So I'm going to put little labels, but this is all math manipulatives and games. This is all ELA and then stuff that goes in our hallway for Christmas that I cannot fit in my Christmas bucket. So that's going to bug me. I'll find somewhere else to do it. These are all um, math mats and then cookie sheets and then all I have are a couple things down there that will go in one of my white cube shelving things when uh, the floor is waxed so that will be empty and then I went through this which again it still may not look great to you but please trust me um, I filled up an entire trash bag of just junk so I'm going to label these two but these are extra dry erase boards envelopes sentence strips um, construction paper. This is all bulletin board stuff. So different bu bulletin boards I've done around the school um, and then some extra stuff for my classroom. We, How do I accumulate certain things? I don't know, but this is all gift bags, a little bit more of that and then extra folders behind. And then this is, this side is laminate for the grade level. And then that side is sheet protectors. Full disclosure. This is what I'm working with for this stuff, but I need to go through it all. I don't have time today, so that'll be a different video. So yes, some of this goes out on things, not like the Capri Suns or whatever, but some of it goes out, like the Kleenex goes out once I set up. Um, I have paper towels that go out. I have sanitizer back there that goes out. So some of this stuff will go out in the classroom. I do need to reorganize our paper, our paper and cardstock, and then I need to stock, take some of this to the workroom and make sure our cabinet is full because we have a cabinet of supplies up there. This is all stuff for the start of the year, except for the Jenga. And then that is stuff for the beginning of the year also. So, yes. Okay, I just realized you can't really see like what I was going through over here, but it went from whatever I took down or whatever was there before to that. Um, and then now it looks way better. I still have this. This came with my uh, alphabet line and I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. So we'll see. Um, but my kiddo is done with summer school and we are leaving. Thank you so much for watching along.